Now in the previous part we found out the value of t to be 400 and we're now told that for this value of t the salary in year 10 under salary scheme 2 is 29,850 pounds and we've got to find the value of p. Well under scheme 2 we know that what happened was that in the first year the salary was P plus £1,800. So just put that here for a moment, P plus £1,800. In the second year, we added on T pounds, so we added on £400. So in the second year, it's going to be P plus £1,800 plus another £400, which is going to be £2,200. And in the next year, the third year, it'll be P plus another £400 onto that, which will be £2,600. So what's it going to be in the 10th year? Well, we know that any term is always given by A plus N minus 1 times the common difference. So if we just start with the salary in year 10, okay, we know that it's going to be equal to a plus n minus 1 times that common difference d. a, the first term is p plus 1800. And then n minus 1, n is 10, so n minus 1 will be 9. And then times the common difference. And the common difference is that we're going up in steps of £400. So it would be 9 times 400. And if we simplify this, then we've got P plus 1,800 plus 3,600. And that's going to be P plus 5,400. Now we know that this salary is meant to come to 29,850. So therefore what we have got, we just come down here, is that therefore P plus 5,400 has got to equal 29,850. So to get P, all I need to do is subtract 5,400 from 29,850. And what does that give me? 24,450. Okay.